Ohio or Konnichiwa, whatever time of day it is, man. But yo, it's Strokes here and I got a banger video for you guys. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys the MCW that I've been running on rank play and man, it freaking shreds. I love this build and I'll probably be using it for the rest of the season trying to hit diamond. Okay, so we'll be going over the loadout details first and then I'll show you some uh, clips or highlights from two games that I played uh, the other night, which was on control, uh, high rise, and then we had one in invasion. And man, this gun <laughs> was tearing it up. But anyway, let's get into the loadout details. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the loadout info. And here it is. We're gonna start with the muzzle. So the muzzle, I'm using the compensated flash hider. This is gonna give you that fire aim stability and vertical and hard horizontal recoil control that you need when you get into gunfights also shortens your radar ping so you can't really be seen as much on the map which is great next what i'm running is the 16.5 <clears throat> cyclone long barrel um this is like default for rank like everybody runs this barrel it's great because of the fire aim stability you get bullet velocity and range so just i mean yeah can't say much on that now for the under barrel I'm using the Bruin um, angled grip. This is also gonna give you fire aim stability, which is huge. Aiming idle sway and aim walking steadiness. So like when you're getting into gunfights and stuff, it, it might seem a little bit slow at first, but you'll get used to it the more you play with it. And you'll notice that it will be hitting your shots a lot better. If you feel like it's a little too slow, you can go with the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop. That's gonna give you more like ADS speed, but it does take away the fire aim stability, which is huge. But that's the two underbarrels that I've been using for this gun. Also, now for the rear grip, I don't run a stock. The rear grip, I use the RB claw, because this is gonna give you what, 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 what more? Fire aim stability, man. Fire aim stability is huge. I've noticed, so I've been using the RB claw. It's great, gives you gun kick control and recoil control. And as far as for the optic, um, I'm using the slate reflector. So, um, I mean, that's that's pretty default too. I mean, you guys can use whatever you want to use. Uh, you got the Nadar model, you know, 2023, or you can use the MK3 reflector, or if you've unlocked it, there's the glassless optic, which is kind of similar to the MK3. And I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the whole build. I'm loving this gun right now. It's freaking awesome. But um, let's go ahead and get into that gameplay, man. Show you some highlights of this freaking gun. Let's get it! One dead. One dead. That's it. That's it. Oh, Yeah, fried chicken, boy. Stack it, stack it, you're coming, you're coming. Yes, fucking good, bitch. Oh, my God, too easy, bro. Oh, I'm on a burner, bro. Mid. Elevator. <laughs> Here, a slot. <laughs> thank you, boy. Yo, thank you. One mega defense. Ah, no, he's going back. Yeah, bro, got put in a blender, Dude, bro. Just... Holy fuck. They're all coming in. Oh, no. fuck, bro. Dark, dark.
Oh, I broke the car. Oh, fuck. Fucking kills, boys. Oh, my God. Uh, they're going to the A street. Fucking down, bro. Snazzy with it. Got him. Rugs, rugs on me. Freaking laundry. One more P P one. Watch cafe and laundry and shit. One cafe. One on, one on. It's not good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're looking for a subclass besides the rival 9 i do have a striker 9 class loadout that's freaking awesome you guys can check out the video right here and we'll see you on the next one all right peace